What's up guys, it's Eggy and welcome back to another video on Mage PS. And real quick guys, if you do want to come check out the server with me, link down below and upon arrival you're going to be asked in the chat where you found the server. Make sure to select my name YouTuber for three free boxes. And of course guys, real quick before the video, once again Mage PS has sponsored another video on my channel and hooked you guys up with another massive giveaway. So guys, today we have a lot of magical boxes. So the first comment today has won themselves two of the magical boxes. Just like always guys, make sure to turn on the post notification bell if you want a better chance of being the first comment prize on every video. And as well, you guys actually blew the last like goal video out of the water so we're gonna be doing another today every 10 likes on this video i'm gonna add another five magical boxes to one lucky commenter so for example if we get 50 likes on today's video five lucky commenters are each gonna get themselves five magical boxes so 25 in total there is no cap on this guys so make sure to smash that like button and of course guys just like always if you do want a chance to enter make sure to like the video comment your in-game name down below and subscribe to the channel as well guys link down below make sure to join my discord is that is where i post every video's giveaway winners and there's currently a 50 mil old school giveaway active in there as well Anyway though guys, real quick intro today, let's get into the video. So guys, welcome to the first episode of my Road to Bloodstaff on Mage PS. As some of you guys know, we actually spoke about this on two past live streams. It took a little bit of chatting and ideas throwing around to actually get an idea for what series we're going to be doing on the server for the Season 2 launch. And we decided the Road to Bloodstaff is going to be a great series. Not only is it going to push me around the game, give me an idea of the Mage PS eco, because as you guys know, I actually haven't played the server not being an Iron Man. So I'm definitely looking forward to it in that sense. But guys, before we do get into the first episode, there are a few rules that I have actually set myself today. The first one is going to be no donating. So I'm not going to be able to actually donate on this account. I want it to be a very smooth series. The next rule is going to be no gambling. During the series, I am not allowed to gamble for anything. I'm also going to be limiting myself to not using the gambling machine, so no gambling whatsoever on this series. Rule number three, guys, I can't take any donations from any of you. When I'm starting out on servers, a lot of the times my fans will come up to me and try and give me some donations towards the series. During the series, there's going to be no donations accepted whatsoever. And the last one, guys, I am going to be starting on a fresh level three account. So four rules for this series. No donating, no gambling, no taking donations, and start from a level three. You guys are, of course, welcome to join me on this as well. I honestly plan to have a lot of fun, and I'm kind of hoping to take a little bit of a different path on Mage PS and what I am used to. So without further ado guys, let's jump right into the series onto a fresh account. Just logging into this account for the first time guys. And real quick guys, I am going to go do the tutorial because it is highly, highly recommended and honestly really easy. And just like that boys that's going to be quite a few done so i'm going to continue up to the pikachu so i have to kill 25 crabs kill a pikachu and then get the pikachu pet then i'm going to get myself the ring of wealth i believe so it shouldn't take too too long 25 crabs to go let's get it boys still have the crabs guys but i do have another 25 golden keys to open so colon colon open all g key any upgrades Ooh, i got a cape and an amulet off that i'll take it and as well i might as well open up these two lesser magical boxes while i'm at it try and upgrade this dragon imbued katana so come on please give me a weapon i'm pretty much looking for any of the whips or a drag or rapier so spin to win oh goliath gloves i'll take it it's gonna be an i don't even have gloves that's definitely gonna be an upgrade number two what do we got oh yo wait i got a steel third age body that is a massive upgrade damn dude i'll take that all right so look at the strength bonus 2100 now we have 3100 now we have 4k i didn't upgrade my weapon but like i doubled my strength bonus i'll take it boys hey goku spawn guys 10 million hp i'm probably gonna die quite a few times here but might as well actually hope to get a drop here by the way, if you don't know what Goku is, he's actually a world boss on this server. He spawns every like three hours. I may be wrong on that. Or you can actually force manually spawn him by combining all seven, I think, of the Dragon Balls. Either way, 10 mil HP. I'm going to die quite a few times because I don't have any actual prayers or food. See you guys in a few minutes and wish me luck on a drop. Yo, wait, Zyra is just sitting here spawning a crazy amount of them. That's hilarious. Hopefully, we sit here for a decent bit and I can actually grab a few upgrades. That'll be nutty at the start of this account. Let's uh, turn on thick skin. This is going to help. Oh, I died instantly. 
Okay, so I finished up that Goku kill. Forgot to hit play on my recorder, but got myself a double magic potion. Uh, kind of an unlucky drop, but I'll be able to sell that for a little bit. Anyways, I'm gonna finish off this tutorial real quick, guys. Got a few more crabs to kill. Finished up the crab boys over to the Pikachu. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be my last actual task that I am gonna do. So, kill one Pikachu and let's get it. As long as I get my ring, oh well, because the other tasks are actually pretty annoying to get to. Let's see, what are we at so far? Claim, do I get a ring of wealth? Unlucky, wait, I did, easy. All right, there's a ring of wealth, guys. I'm not gonna bother actually doing the rest of it. Pikachu pet, I have to kill a Helm Knight, get a Lance, get a Hellfire armor piece. Overall, like, that's quite a bit of work for five trills, so I am gonna cancel the rest of this. And there we are, guys, fresh into the game. Now we have our ring of wealth, juicy starter pack, actually. That's kind of nutty. I got really lucky with that Steel Third Age and those Goliath gloves. So, in the meantime, guys, while I'm actually thinking of my path, I am gonna kill a few Pikachu. Actually, what I am going to do is go over to the cave horrors if I can actually kill them. No, I have to do one third Pikachu. So I'm going to finish off at one Pikachu task and then jump over to the cave horrors, grab myself some cave horror bones and grind out level 91 prayer. So I'll see you guys after I finish my first Pikachu task. Yo, what? Okay, I got the uh, Thunderstone before I even got the pet. If you guys don't know, the Thunderstone is to actually upgrade the Pikachu pet into the Raichu pet. Uh, I guess I'll take it. It works for me, I guess, honestly. Works for me, I guess. I just wanted to complete one of the tasks so I can move over to the Cave Horrors. Another Lester Magical Box. Let's go, boys. Give me a whip. I'm still using this... I'm still using this Katana, so I love an upgrade. That is completely useless. Actually... What I am going to do, if you hold control and click on an item, you're able to actually wear it as a costume item. If you guys don't know what this does, so you can get yourself a little bit of fashion scape and as well, all costume items that you actually wear on your costume, I believe increase your hit points by 5. So it's actually worthwhile worrying about fashion scape on this server. And since I am at like 80 Pikachu KC, I am just going to finish this off real quick. Shouldn't take too, too much longer and I'll see you in 2 seconds. Finish up that third Pikachu task guys, let's go home, bank some of these items. What are these buffs that I have? Defensive stance? Plus a thousand attack bonus, damn. Telly to my inventory, sends all drops to my inventory. Armor break, ignores NPCs defenses and uncanny movement. I love these random buffs that we get across Mage PS. And as well, if you don't actually know what a buff is, literally just click on it and it'll tell you what it is in the chat. Anyways, I shouldn't actually take too, too, wait, I have so many vote books. Give me these real quick. I'm gonna sell the books cause they might be worth something, but I am gonna open up the tickets just cause I know later on, I do actually need myself a lot of turtle stones. I think it's 2.5k for the zone task. Anyways, let's spin all real quick and spin all again. 30 cupcakes, got a banner. Wait, I literally got, okay, there we are. Two turtle stones, a lesser magical box and a double range potion. All right, I'll take it. Turtle stones aren't too, too bad. I gotta collect quite a few, honestly. For the turtles, where is it? Donate 5k stones. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Anyways, two more lesser magical boxes. As well, if you guys don't know, like this is literally the early game of Mage and the free boxes just get better and better. This is the most free to play RSPS out there, honestly. I posted quite a few, hey, yo, that is so good. But I posted quite a few videos in the past explaining that Mage PS gives you guys over a thousand dollars in free stuff, literally just for progressing through the game. Anyways, let's take a look at this Razor Whip, see how big of an upgrade that is. Wait, I need 110 attack to wear that. But like I said, guys, over to the Cave Horrors, gotta get my prayer up real quick. These shouldn't take too, too long. I'm actually not even sure how much XP, these shouldn't take too too long but honestly i'm not even sure how much xp i do get per bone and that's level 110 attack let's see this dps increase equip my razor whip is that even noticeably better that's eh, 500 strength bonus i'll take it oh i got clapped as well sometime during the series i am going to start actually having to focus on leveling up all of my skills i don't know if i've mentioned it at this point or not on season two drop by the way happening this week i'm finally allowed to tell you guys when it's dropping but when season two drop they're doing thousands of dollars in competition like for example first players to max out individual skills on season two drops the first person to actually get the max cape everything like that like there's going to be so much grinding and so many more ways to make actual bank definitely looking forward i got clapped again let's go see if these bones give me level 43. Yo, wait, 55 from one bone. Easy. Alrighty, boys, back over to the cave horrors. Uh, rip. That should be enough for level 92 prayer, though. Soul split unlocked. I love it, boys. Already making some massive progress. Honestly, though, guys, my main thing right now is I want to skip the Hellfire Lance grind. It takes me so long to actually do. Like, don't get me wrong, it's amazing for Iron Man. If you guys are actually joining the server and making Iron Man accounts, I highly recommend actually doing the Lance grind. Real quick, if you don't actually know what it is, guys, Cole and Cole and Lance will get there. Speak to the Hell's Gatekeeper. Teleport in, and inside of here, there's a bunch of training knights. These training knights have chances of dropping different types of lances. The lances are actually pretty, pretty OP weapons. And this last lance, being the Hellfire Lance, is pretty much the best in slot weapon up until the Gem Katana, which is pretty much the Virago grind on this server, which, as you can see, like, I scrolled down to here to get to it. There's quite a bit before the Virago grind. So this lance grind here is not only amazing for upgrading your weapons, but you can come over to the Hell Poppy, bend your hell points and buy yourself the full hellfire set which is another really op set 
So yeah, I highly recommend doing this, but myself, I am going to be skipping it just because like I've done this like six times, dude. I want to find a new path to actually jump into the game. So my main thing right now is I want to push towards the gem katana. The gem katana, to my knowledge, is about 300 to 350 trill, which yeah, is quite a bit of money, but I honestly see myself being able to make quite a bit of money very fast. Not only am I going to be able to sell my votes for a decent bit every single day, but on top of that, literally every single one of these zones rewards are worth bank. I can sell these for so much money, guys. So, back over to the zone grind, what's going to be next? Honestly, like, how are we going to do this? I completed two Pikachu, so I can go over to the Earth Ring if I want to. Hmm. I guess claim the Lucky Ore while I'm at it, but yeah, I guess the Earth Ring is going to be the next grind. If you guys don't know how the progression works on this server, by the way, essentially you start here, you move down, you move down, you move down. It's actually very, very nicely laid out for you guys. There's no actual confusion when joining Mage PS. Like I said, the perfect starter custom server for anybody new to custom RSPS. For the Earth Ring, though, I'm gonna have to kill 250 or collect one build, then I can actually move over to the Scyther. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna try and keep progressing as fast as I can. Anyways, let's AFK some Earth Ring while I do some editing, boys. Yo, that is actually amazing. So I've been AFKing the Earth Ring for like probably 45 minutes now, maybe to an hour. Just been doing a little bit of editing, but I completed the full Earth Ring task, like 90% AFK. That's actually pretty sick, dude. I'll take it. So claim all three of these. Heavenstone, Lucky Ore, and 15 Trill Cash. That's a decent bit of cash, honestly. I'm not actually sure what the Heavenstone, the Lucky Heavenstone, the Lucky Ore, and the Double Strength potions are currently selling for. I'll check the TP and ask around, but either way, one full zone completed is actually sick. Real quick, guys, over to the forums because I do want to actually show you something if you are new to the server. Onto the knowledge base of zones information, I will link this down below if you want to read this for yourself, and of course, timestamp on the screen if you already know about this, but zones information. So there's actually two different sections here. These are finishing individual zones, and then down here are finishing full zones. So as we saw, I just finished my first full zone for a Lucky Heaven Zone and a Double Strength Potion. I think right now I'm actually at five individual zones. So I got myself a 5% damage boost to one-handed weapons. The individual zones are pretty much account buffs that are honestly fairly OP. But next, what I'm more so kind of pushing for, completing zones entirely. So on the third zone, I'm gonna get myself a free magical box and a double strength potion. Five zones, I get 2k donation points and a $10 rank. That's a free donator rank right there and two double strength potions, which are a decent bit of money. Seven zones, I get a pet box, two double strength, 10 zones, 4k donator points and $20 and a free magical boxes and three double strength potions like there's actually quite a few guys there is a massive list of zones and of course a massive list of goodies to actually go along with that on top of all of the in-game goodies as well like this massive list of free shit dude like that chest ticket is $50 right there there are so many goodies that you can actually push for so like I said I'm gonna be trying to push for three full zones while I really want to push for five honestly but I don't see myself doing five in one video. I already have like 45 minutes in clips. So this might even be a longer video. Whatever, we chillin'. It's episode one, guys. Anyways, what I am gonna go do is over to the Pikachus, get myself a Pikachu drop. Hopefully, won't take too, too long, but that's gonna finish off the Pikachu. And then I'll jump back over to the Cave Horror, finish those up. But either way, Pikachu drop incoming, boys. And I know it's not necessarily smart for early game to actually be worrying about Astrals. I forget how much it costs. I think it's 250 bill. No, it's one trail each roll. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna take out like maybe five trill on this one. It's kind of a decent chunk of my money, but getting myself an astral early game might actually be really worth it. So first one, I got a white damage. I'll t it's okay, I got a damage, I guess. Second, ooh, blue experience. Experience kind of sucks. Next is going to be green crit. I like it. White damage in the last one. Come on, drum roll. Green crit. Okay, so I got a couple green crits and a blue XP. So I'll sell the whites. Collect these. I guess for now we're going to be using the green crit astral. So wearing this is going to give me an added chance to do double my damage. But I am going to try and level it up. Use that on that. And I'm going to use the experience on that as well. 14 XP. Either way, equip the astral. First astral early on. I like it. Anyway, though, guys, take a look at our gear setup. We're looking pretty interesting. This is why I love customs, man. I have the most random setups 24-7. Dude, I love it. Got the Pikachu task finished up, guys. Uh, that's another Heavenstone. I'll take it. And got my first pet on the account. Look at this, dude. We got Detective Pikachu up on this bitch. But I am going to pick him up. I did get that Thunderstone. Upgrade that. I believe this gives me maybe some drop rate. I think I'm actually wrong. I have no idea. Anyways, we probably know where we're going next. Over to the Cave Horrors. Got to kill 250, collect 500 bill, and get full aquatic. It really shouldn't take too, too long, honestly. But I am going to go over to Colon Colon Shops. Because part of me thinks that I can actually get a Bone Crusher somewhere. I might be wrong, but Bone Crusher is really OP. And would pretty much push me to 99 prayer, literally just from this Earth Ring grind. Hey. Okay, damn. It's too 2.5k skilling points. I have 1.1k. 
Okay, so that's good that you can get it, but oof, I can't actually get it right now. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go bang out this K4 task real quick. Shouldn't take too, too much longer. And then after that, I got myself a juicy magical box. Yo, what? I just asked. Magical boxes are 80 trill. Bro, it, oh my god, that is like so much money. That'll push me to like 90 trill in no time. All right, let's go get this banged out. Another one bites the dust. Hey boys, so we completed all three horror tasks. I didn't actually bother claiming them because I literally once again just AFK edited for a little bit. Give me those. I don't think Christmas crackers are actually tradable, but what I can do with that, da da da. Double range potion. Eh, fair enough. But over that, I got myself all three of the first tasks completed. I'm really happy with that, especially on episode one. And we have ourselves quite a bit of goodies to sell. So this is where we're sitting at so far, guys. 22 trill cash. We have a few things to actually sell to some people. But the big ticket item being that magical box. Ah, uh, what do we got from the lesser box today? Give me a leg upgrade, please. Another Goliath glove. God damn it. I'm just going to give that to the next new player I see. Anyway, so I'm going to try and sell a few of these things because I do want to try and pick up myself a drop catcher ASAP. I see BA picking up all these drops anymore, guys. All right, we're making the decision to open up this magical box, boys. Eh, this is an awful idea, but it's 90 trill. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I got a turtle box. All right, let's open up the turtle box. Obtain a random piece. Yeah. Yeet. Uh, give me. Hey, I got it. I don't know how that works. Yo, that's like 900 strength bonus. I'll take it. Not overly sure if it's worth much. Nah, it's too trill. Definitely lost money there. Anyways, though, guys, I am going to start wrapping up the video here. Let me know your thoughts on this series down below. It would be much appreciated. But honestly, myself, I am mad stoked for this. My first day, I am having a blast. So be sure to come check out Mage PS with me, guys. Link down below. And upon arrival, you guys know the drill. Make sure to select your boy as your referrer for three free boxes. For real, this server is content packed and there is a massive, massive expansion dropping soon. Anyway, so guys, I plan to drop maybe one or two episodes a week on this series, so I hope you enjoy. But just like always, guys, make sure to enter for that massive giveaway and as well, join my Discord by using the link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of my Road to Bloodstaff and later.